In the moment I heard Undertaker's music and I saw I saw him holding the what's the name in English? The urn. I was like I I was like, oh my god, this is freaking amazing. And then <laughs> We are, uh, I, I mean, I also spoke to Ricardo Rodriguez some time ago. He told me you were part yeah. of his big event in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. That was a huge uh, event that went down very well. And he's also started a school, I think, which is going yeah. very well right now. So what was that event like? Well, that, that event was fantastic. Uh, we had, a, it was a big place. It was a baseball stadium. So... The place was not completely packed, but we had more than 4,000 fans reunited to watch pro wrestling. Um, I had the opportunity to work with, uh, with a, a really good wrestler, uh, local talent. Um, I'm sorry, I, I, I don't remember his name right now. You know, I go all over the place and wrestle every week, but he is a fantastic wrestler and um, we put up a really good show for the fans. And I also had the opportunity to see my my dear friends, um, Fandango and uh, and Santino Marella, RVD, Ricardo RVD. Rodriguez. So we had a lot of a lot of fun before and after the show. And uh, to know to know that after that big event in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, Ricardo went and finally finally accomplished his dream of opening a wrestling school makes me makes me really happy especially after all the difficult moments difficult situations that ricardo have gone through and to see him happy smiling sober makes my day and puts a big smile in my face amazing to hear that yeah man he's such a nice guy uh, but uh, while preparing for uh, that event i mean i interviewed him before that event and we were obviously talking about you also before that event. And he mentioned your name. And one of the, he mentioned how far your relationship goes back all the way to FCW, right? And yes. it, yeah, one of the things he mentioned was how you were influenced by uh, a lot of footage of Pablo Escobar when it came to uh, creating your character. Could you tell us yeah. how such a interesting human being? Uh, help you create your character. Well, more more than uh, than Pablo Escobar per se, it was all of the people from that world. You know that world okay. of power, power, and uh, and um, excess, and and being good guys sometimes, helping people, but also being bad guys. That uh, that thin line between being good and bad. Um, it's what uh, what helped me um, develop the character of Alberto del Rio, because you know all of those all of those uh, individuals w were are love and hate, and that's what Alberto be Alberto del Rio became in in the big industry. Um, I was loved and hate. I was loved by many people, yeah. but I was also hated by by many others, and um, that's the beauty of pro wrestling. I have always said it. Uh, we have the power, we the wrestlers, we have the power to to tell you or give you the emotion that we want to give you. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely you do. Let me ask you a fun question then. Uh, I know we have talked about this a little bit uh, before, but uh, what was it like when you are calling Israel Adesanya's fight and he comes out dressed as the Undertaker. Oof, that was that was amazing. I think that was the best part of the event because, to be honest, the fight was not good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Adesanya, but the fight was was not not a good fight. We had a good card, and I remember me and Andres Bermudez, my compadre Andres Bermudez, calling the fight, and the event was pretty good. The preliminaries were good. But then the main event was like, okay, uh, <laughs> when when something interesting is gonna happen. But in the moment I heard Undertaker's music, and I saw I saw him holding the what's the name in English, the urn. Oh, I, I was like, I, I was like, 
oh my god this is freaking amazing and then uh, everybody andres and the rest of the uh, the people from uh, ufc and the espm they were asking me how is this possible how is this possible i was like is, is it possible because vince mcmahon Triple H and Stephanie are there. And of course they said, yes, you can do it. <laughs> Because a huge organization like the UFC will not go and do that without permission. Because if you do that in the in, in this country and especially in this country, but but in the corporate world, uh, you will get a letter from that company suing you for trillions and zillions and millions of dollars. <laughs> So they got the permission from the WWE to do that, and it was fantastic.